can't say. Oh. <laughs> Come around. Okay, I'm, all right. First of all, I just want to introduce everyone. We okay. have Gary, Greg, right. Gwen, Gail, Greer, Mackenzie, Idan, Madi, Glenn, and Hank. Never repeat that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to see my kids again, and my grandson, and my brothers and sisters. It's a big family, and I need them to help me figure out the intense feelings I'm having for Joan. And I need validation from them that they see in Joan what I see in Joan. So what have you guys been doing? Tell oh, us. I, I mean, we're all crazy. crazy. So our first group date was prom, senior oh, was prom. prom. It was prom. So we had a <laughs> senior prom, did it? <laughs> <laughs> they, like, everybody formed these bonds with each other and, like, opened up about, like, life stuff. So one of the gentlemen that was on this crazy journey with us is a guy named Charles. So yeah. Charles' wife passed away from a brain aneurysm. And he has been, like, suffering, thinking that maybe he could have done something to save her. He kept questioning, like, every little detail. I said, Charles, you did not do anything wrong. All that guilt you've been harboring for all those years was finally relieved. So yeah. he's a good one. Aww. I know that. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be here. He wouldn't be one of the last four people if I mm -hmm. didn't have strong feelings for him. Yeah. Guy looks so happy. He just went through so much. It's refreshing to see him look like a different person. I want to find out how Joan feels, and I'm hoping she feels what we see. Seeing him happy, it's just so comforting, because he's had a lot of rough years. Yeah. I mean, he opened up and told me about his divorce and how, like, bad it's been for a long time. And it affects the whole family. Yep. You know, I lost my husband. You know, he died at 68. How old was your husband? 59. <gasps> Three and a half years ago. Oh. Like, it's still painful. Like, I mean, I've talked about that with Guy also. Yeah. So when I lost my husband, Guy would always, always be the encourager. Oh. I mean, he was always there for my kids and, and yeah. everything also. He is got a big, huge heart. Joan is an awesome person. And if it does work out, it'll make me so happy for him. Well, I hope you pick him. <laughs> But I know she has three other guys, you know, and I don't know her feelings towards them. So, you know, nobody knows. It's exciting. Yeah. You seem happy. It's been fantastic. You know, the scary part now is it's down to, you know, there's four people who get this, you know, hometown yeah. date. And she wouldn't have picked them if she didn't see something in them too, right? Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's hard. I've seen you heartbroken, and I don't want you to be heartbroken again. Um, but I think just putting yourself out there is part of like the process, right, of going forward. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm glad that you're doing that. Yeah. My kids have become somewhat parental towards me. All of a sudden, there's this role reversal, and all they could do is just express love and support. How have you kind of seen your relationship with him progress as you've learned more about him? It was kind of like a slow burn. He just was always so sweet and always so considerate. and. That's what I need in my life now. Yeah. 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 He's just like a good person. I know you know that. I'm yeah. reaching to the choir here. We yeah. can confirm. <laughs> yeah. It's all true. It's all true. Yeah. I feel mm -hmm. like he's kind of closing one chapter. and This has kind of been the start of him opening a new one. Mm -hmm. So with him, you know, yeah. the sky's the limit. We'll see where, yeah. where things go. Getting to know Joan, she seemed to like kind of fit right in. They really hit it off. And my only worry for him is that he might be heartbroken, but you know, they say fools rush in, but sometimes you gotta be a fool when it comes to love. You have to put how you feel on a scale of like one to 10, where absolutely in love's number 10. Where are you feeling right now? 9.5. Really, 9.5? It's pretty yeah. high. Do you think you propose? Yes. My family watched me go through a very difficult phase of my life. I'll get in right here. So what they see and what they express to me means so much to me. And I, I said, be honest with me. You look happy as a lark. Yep, <laughs> you do. You look different. She is gorgeous. Adorable. Gorgeous. Like, like so inside sweet. and out. Yeah. So I saw this goodness in her heart. And then family is like, 
everything to her. Yeah. I mean everything. Well, it is and, to you, too. I know, and that's you what know, resonates. That's yeah. another, it's big, it's huge. And um, you guys look really, really good together. <laughs> We'd love Pretty to have special. her in our family. She would fit in so well. I'm, I've, I've fallen for this woman. I mean, and that's... I do. That's the God's honest truth. Have, it is not, have, it's not... It's not... It's not fake. Well, she, no. She just, just seems it's not. like it's, perfect it's, for you. It's, really, it's, truly. Never in a million years would I thought I'd be saying this. What? That I... That I can love again. I can be loved again. I knew it was real. When I saw his tears, I think the guy probably loves her. I can see that she brought something out in him that he needed so desperately. It was so, so nice meeting everybody. Guy deserves to be happy. And I hope and pray that Joan would fall in love with him also. Bye, guys. Bye. One, one last little hug yeah. before yeah. we leave. Yeah, yeah. I knew that today was going to be make or break. And now I can absolutely see Joan being part of my family. This should say it all. I mean, I'm, I'm so incredibly happy, but I haven't told Joan how I truly, truly feel. I'm gonna go all in. I'm going all in.